Hey everybody, um, I have a fun little assignment here for us to practice um, manipulating patterns in Clo. Um, so for example, let's say your designer gave you this sketch over here of this panel style line and um, you have a sloper just um, as your block. You're gonna basically cut and slash and spread that sloper to match this style. Um, I have the instructions on how to do it um, for you to follow if you'd like. It's pretty simple. You might not need to follow it. Um, I'll walk you through it real quick right now. Um, so this should be pretty simple. So what's going on with the style is that there is a side panel and then there is a dart as well going to the bust. On the back, there's just the leftover um, bodice back dart and um, shoulder dart too, which actually comes on your sloper. So you actually won't really have to change the back that much other than giving it a style line um, for the side panel that we're gonna pull out here. So on the front bodice, you're gonna use your internal lines and you're gonna draw some style lines on the front and the back. Now on the front, it's going to cross over the dart. Maybe that's a little bit of a challenge. Um, and what else we're gonna notice about this is that there's no dart on the sketch on the front. So we're gonna have to close that dart and just move it to the bust dart at the side. Okay, um, so I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, so here we go. The, you know, once you have your internal line, you can right click and cut it. You can actually right click and cut and sew because it'll be sewn right back. And um, you'll do the same on the front as well. You're gonna cut off that side thing. Um, you can probably say cut and sew. I'm gonna demo it, we'll find out together. Um, but once you have your two side panels, you will merge them together. So they're one pattern piece, kind of like this bottom one here. Um, on the front, you're gonna finish by slashing and spreading to close the dart, and it's gonna open up the side dart a bit more. And you're gonna you know, sew that dart shut. Um, so I think this will be fairly simple. I'll definitely walk you through it, but the real challenge is that you guys are gonna have to figure out how to um, manipulate that same pattern to get one of these four sketches. So I think probably design one's the easiest. It's very similar to what I'm gonna demo right now. It's just that instead of sewing the dart shut, they left it as gathers. So when they sewed it, it kind of gathers up. And then it's pretty easy. They just cut the strap. I don't think there's anything too crazy there. Um, Let's see here, over on this design two, it looks like they moved all the darts to the neckline and they left it as gathers. So you'd have to slash and spread your darts to create fullness around the neck. Um, that's interesting, they added just a basic turtleneck too. I don't think there's anything too fancy there. Um, let's see here, this bottom one, it looks like maybe the dart got moved into the side panel. There's still a little dart here. Maybe this one might be a little, a little trickier. I think the hardest one is probably number four because it looks like there's no darts at all, but it's actually inside the seam lines. So they could have moved it just all to this bottom seam. Maybe some of the dart is also in the top seam. I don't really know. It's actually just an illustration, right? It's not a real <laughs> pattern. So there's probably different ways to do it. So that's your challenge to pick one. If you want to keep it safe, I recommend doing design one. If you want to challenge yourself, try some of the others and let's open this up for conversation or learning. Um, so, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So let me get to it. I'm gonna go ahead now and um, open up Clo. Okay, and let's see here. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna just have my first little picture open as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead into Clo and I'm gonna draw my style lines with my internal draw line. Okie dokie, here I go. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, okay, so you have to remember which tool does internal lines. It's over here on the right. I'm just gonna click and drag and hold it down. Okay, yeah, and I just want the polygon line, keyboard shortcuts, the letter G. Um, okay, I'm gonna zoom in on my 2D, panning a little bit. Okay, and I guess I'm just gonna click one time here. Now, if you want a curve, you need to hold the button next to the space bar, which is Command. Okay, I'm gonna come down, and I just did double click to finish. Just thinking about it. Okay. 
One thing I'm noticing about this pattern is that it's actually the one dart pattern. So um, right now I should probably just go ahead and slash and spread my dart to the side. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, we are going to select our dart legs and we're gonna right click and we're gonna say rotate dart. Um, this is the segment of where I want my dart to come. I want it to just, mm, maybe your apex is probably not at your dart point, it's probably a little bit higher, so it's probably good to go a little bit above your dart point. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it, and now it's gonna ask me, well, how far do you want the dart? And I'm gonna match where that dot is. I'll click one time. Okay, cool, there we go. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. 